You are incorrect, Alvin. The game isn't over yet. Oh, <laughs> it will be soon. <laughs> I won again! You really need to get better at video games, Sai. <laughs> it was just a, a lucky win. My calculations must have been off. Oh, I'll get it. Hi, Theodore. Are you and the boys ready to do the web show? Well, I am. But my brothers are playing video games. Oh, well, we have to record now. Besides, I have something really nice to show you all. Uh, oh, w what is it? <laughs> it's a surprise, Theodore. <laughs> you have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what about another round of the Halo? I want to beat some noobs. Ugh, Alvin, I have other things to do. I also feel like we're forgetting something really important. Simon, Alvin, are you both done playing video games? We need to record right now. Oh, right! <laughs> That's the important thing I'd forgotten. <laughs> How could we have forgotten the Monkcast? We've been doing it for five years. Indeed we have. Without the Monkcast, I do not know where we would be. Yeah, and we would never have made so many great friends. <laughs> anyway, let's start filming. I cannot wait to be in the spotlight again. Everyone, I'm Alvin, and today we have a special episode all about the most famous rock star in the world, me! Alvin, you're holding the camera wrong. Also, this is not the Alvin Seville show, this is the Monkcast. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean I'm holding the camera wrong? Uh, uh, now it's upside down. Well, Simon, you hold the camera. It's not my job, Alvin. It's Chris's. And the fact that he's actually let you use the camera worries me. Chris didn't let him use the camera. Alvin took it out of his room while he was gone. Alvin, you know you're not supposed to do that. Chris won't be happy, especially if you break it again. <laughs> oh, I'll put it back when I'm done. Besides, he will never know it's gone. And won't he be happy that we filmed it for him? You said the same thing about Dave's bike. Then you crashed it and blamed Brittany. What? I did not blame her. She broke it. She crashed it right into me with her skates. I did not. I was skating and you were not watching where you were going. Not to mention if you never took Dave's bike for a ride. This would never have happened. You all need to stop. The fans don't want to hear an hour-long argument. I will plug the short story for fans to watch. You both need to calm down and think about what you're saying. Oh, look at that gorgeous dress. I have got to buy it. Well, this new equation should help with my new experiment. I've not tried those calculations quite yet. So, should we make cake or cookies for the party? Let's make both. A great idea, Theodore. And let's make the design have a car on it for Road Chip. Sounds great, Eleanor. Let's go show Dave. Theodore, Dave is out with Jeanette and Chris at the recycling event. They're helping the cause for global warming. They won't be back for hours. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Played that one, and that one, and that one. I've even played through all the games on Chris's PC. There is nothing to do. I'm so bored. There is nothing else to do. Haha, <laughs> I had a plan. My phone! My computer! What happened? I, I didn't I didn't even get to buy my dress! And my phone was fully charged! What is it, Brittany? My phone is dead, but it was fully charged a moment ago. Uh let's place it on the charger, see if that helps. Okay, Simon, but if it doesn't work, I have to buy a new one, and I don't want to do that. I need to save my new dress. I'm sure it's okay, Brittany. Let's get it charged. What's that? 
It appears to be an error message from Apple. Then why does it say my phone was hacked? Oh my gosh! It reads your phone has been hacked by your worst nightmare. Worst nightmare? Like what kind of name is that? Oh my gosh! It's someone in this room! Ha ha ha! You cannot use your electronic devices now! They're all mine! Who's there? What do you want? What's going on? Is it a ghost? It's some sort of computer virus. I don't think it's a ghost. To be continued! Well, hey everyone, we're back. The fighting stopped. Yeah, since Dave heard us yelling and grounded us. Well, if you hadn't have stolen Chris's camera, none of that would have happened. Okay, okay, stop. This is getting way out of hand. Let's go to the news, and then finally the fan mail. So, we have the Alvin and the Chipmunks being nominated for the Road Chip, the new fourth CGI live action film, and Justin Long, the player and actor in the CGI live action film of Alvin, also the 2015 um, TV show Alvin and the Chipmunks, being nominated for a Kids Choice Award. Make sure to go to the website and check it out. We also have a volume three of the Canadian DVD coming out soon to be released on DVD. Make sure to check that out. Also the Alvin vs. Britney DVD that will be released pretty soon. So yeah, um, that's basically all the news for this time. We'll keep you updated. Keep on monkin'. Bye. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, thank you for that, Missy. <laughs> she likes being called that. Anyway, it's time for fan mail. And without further ado, let's get right to it. Alvin? Oh, okay then. Mine is from BoeingFan747. Again, <laughs> they say... Hi, chipmunks! I want to ask you guys, why don't you guys fly on a private jet? There are so many out there. 747, 777, 737, so many sevens. I eagerly await your answer. <laughs> P.S. I recommend the large jet below, the best in the air. We do have a private jet. <laughs> it's how we travel to Chris's house and many of our tours. Yeah, but we don't use it very often, mostly for PR stuff. We just stick to normal flights on normal planes. I thought you guys were on the no-fly list. Well, we were because of Agent Suggs, but Dave explained what happened and they took us off a few weeks later. <laughs> oh, but when we're going to Chris's house, we always use the private jet. Just look at it, it's awesome and so much faster. <laughs> well, that answers that. Now it is my turn to read out my belladou. Ah, uh, you're what, Simon? Must you always use such big words? Uh, it's French, Alvin. It means love letter or fan mail. And I thought I would change it up, since we always say the same thing over and over again. It can be a little redundant and repetitive. Oh, all right, just read it. All right. It is from Diamond Doll Jeanette, and she says, My collection is quite small because I don't have the room for a lot of things. I might be selling a few of my items for my room soon. I will just share my keep stuff for sure. <laughs> and it appears to be a collection of our merchandise. Also, she says that she has the 1987 Burger King Simon plush, oh, the Hardy Simon, the Theodore and Chipette's glasses, a 1990s Alvin and the Beach Golden Puzzle, multiple DVDs. I'm guessing she didn't have a photo of those. <laughs> oh, that is so cool! I'm glad you're a fan of us! And the figures and plushies of me look so awesome! <laughs> okay, I, I agree, they, they look all very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that puzzle with me and my sisters on it. I remember having that drawn back when we were first becoming famous. Anyway, my fan mail's from Benjamin Griffiths. And it's a video of him dancing to Juicy Wiggle. Here it is. <laughs> oh, cool. This is such a fun dance. <laughs> it really is. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah, here's my fan mail. It's from Jeremiah Whaley. And they say... Here is a question for Alvin. How did it feel when you had to outrun Officer Suggs? Oh, let me tell you, I was really angry at him. I mean, he blamed us for all of his mistakes. 
It's not our fault his girlfriend broke up with him. I mean, he is strange. Not to mention he wanted to kill us, and he put us on the no-fly list. Wow, you boys had a big adventure. Yes, it was exhausting. We got into so much trouble. Well, like I said when we got back, I'm so glad you boys are okay. Here's my fan mail. It's from Josh Gilbert. They say... The Road Chip will be released on DVD and Blu-ray March 15th, 2016. I'm sure they'll see our movie. After all, they're our fans and that's all that matters. You're right, Theodore. Our fans matter more than anything else. And now it's time for the last fan mail. And it's from Melissa Smith. Wait, doesn't she help make the show? Staff can leave fan mail too, Alvin. They are fans. Anyway, it says... Hey, chipmunks and chipettes. I wanted to ask you something to prove a point. What age is your films and TV show targeted at? There have been a lot of people online saying that you guys are for five-year-olds, and I want to prove them wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our films are family films, and our TV show is for everyone. It's targeted at all chipmunk fans, young and old. Yeah, the majority of our fan base are teens and adults. And of course the kids are there. They love us. <laughs> well, that was a lot of talking. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, and join our community at themonkcast.com or on our Facebook group. Also, check out the Monk Chats on Skype that we sometimes have. We'll announce them on the Facebook. But, as always, keep on monkin'!